What's going on, cryptocurrency universe? It's the Bitcoin miner here, guys. And today we're going to do an unboxing video of the Rock Pi 4. This is a single board computer. This guy is a little powerhouse. It's really cheap. It's about $65. You get a six core processor, it's an ARM chip. It'll very extremely low wattage, maybe about 10 wattages, mining and running some uh, staking, maybe master nodes. So it'll be extremely low wattage. Uh, it also has four gigabytes of DDR RAM. It has, as you can tell, lots of different connectors on it, USB 3.0, 2.0, um, Ethernet, uh, audio jack, and an M.2 connector as well. So stay tuned, guys, and let's go through this and do the unboxing. So, let's take a look at everything in the box, and we'll open it up and see how it all would uh, might look when it's done. So, we've got a battery backup right here. The power adapter cable. Uh, antenna for the Wi-Fi. It actually has a Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, uh, 2.4G and 5G uh, for the wireless. But I had them solder on a little connector for that tip onto the uh, chip so that we can extend the Wi-Fi capabilities. So we're going to set that over here to the side. I also purchased a M.2 slot. Should be 512 gigabytes. There we go. So therefore, we got plenty of room for our Lightning Network and all the other blockchains we want to run. I think the Lightning Network is about 250 gigs. So this should last us plenty of time. And we also have an extra 128 gigabyte um, micro SD card so that we could use that as well. So we're going to have plenty of storage on the, our microcomputer. Um, and what is this right here? Okay, this is the cable for the power adapter. And here we go. This is the Rock Pi 4. This is what we really want to check out. So let's sit that guy down here for just a minute. And this is the extender board for the M.2. Okay, very cool. And this must be the housing. Yep, the aluminum case with the heat sink. Very cool, very cool. Let's set that over here to the side. Set these guys over here. Let's open up this heat sink, see what we've got in there. And go from there. Oh, nice. Comes with thermal paste. That's a big plus. Like I said, this guy has a very powerful processor, and it's got a six core. I think it runs at 1.8 gigahertz. It's an ARM chip, but it does an extremely low efficient or extremely low wattage. Okay, this looks like an extender cable, um, the ribbon cable for the M.2, and some rubber feet for the box. Let me go ahead and pull this out. Okay, so this is the case. Oh, that looks pretty cool, actually. Nice. It's pretty sleek. Got all the connectors. It's got a decent weight to it, too. I'm assuming that's from the heat sink on the bottom. Okay. Very cool. This is going to look really nice when this is all done. All right. Let's take a look at the rest of this stuff over here. Let's put this with this. Okay, I wanted to take a quick look at the power adapter. Uh, extremely high quality, although I've never seen a reddish orange adapter, but it's got a decent amount of weight to it. Uh, the cable they sent is very high quality, as you can tell. It's got the uh, nice cloth wrapping around the outside of it. Very high quality fittings. So, good. Good sign that we've got some nice high quality power supplies as you know i like my power adapters and the things that are divided that mining or excuse me supplying the power to my mining devices especially with the amount of load that we're putting them through so uh let's go ahead and take a no need to open that up we don't know what those look like uh, let's take a quick look at the solid state drive real quick let's open that up 
Okay, it came with the little screws we needed to attach it. Uh, looks pretty good to me. Looks like a nice one. So we're gonna be pulling that out here in just a minute and installing that. Okay, let's take a look at the M.2 extender board, which we will need to install that onto. So it comes with a, its own screwdriver, nice. Okay, comes with the screws and also the ribbon cable that we will need. Along with the extender. Okay, so therefore we can put that on the top and then we'll use the extender to attach it with the ribbon cable on the lower section when we put this together. Really high quality parts. Really nice. I don't know what that little smear is. But hopefully everything's all good. Still, I'm excited. Let's put this back in and open up the Rock Pie itself. All right, Rock Pie 4. Let's see what this guy looks like. I mean, it's pretty small. I mean, it is, like, here. You guys might recognize, as an example, like a USB plug and the USB cable. So it's really small. This thing is a full-blown computer. It's pretty impressive. There's the chip we want. RK3399 rock chip. That guy's a little powerhouse. It's really impressive, supposedly, what this guy can uh, pump out. The reviews on this is really good. And this looks like the M.2, excuse me, the M.2 connector right there. And also, uh, that's probably the micro, SS, uh, micro SD. Okay, and there's the uh, plug right here for the um, battery. Okay, these guys right here are the RAM. So they're probably two gigs each. Let's set this guy over. Oh, up to the tape. Okay. So there we go. We've got four USB plugs, two 3.0s and two 2.0s, along with a full-size jack, and it's got a C for power plug, audio jack, and won't focus on it but there seems to be a little oh that's nothing but a connector and then your HDMI very cool let's see if we can find where they soldered on the little connector for us there it is do you see it guys right underneath that chip that's the Wi-Fi. I'm assuming the Wi-Fi chip is the one above it. The uh, connector is that little round dot right here beneath it. That guy right there. And that's uh, what they soldered on for me. I think it was an extra dollar so that we could uh, have an extra range with our Wi-Fi. Now, they have two versions of this one. One without the Wi-Fi, which I think is like $55 or $50. Uh, and then the one with the Wi-Fi. Um, I suggest you guys go with the extra RAM uh, just so it's a smoother run, depending on what you're trying to do with it. But running the Lightning node, I think having the extra RAM and trying to run the other staking nodes, uh, it's going to require the uh, extra RAM to make it really run smooth for us. So I'm excited about using this guy. Let's um, see what we can do about opening up that case and see what it looks like put together.
All right, putting this guy together. Let's go through the steps real quick. First thing is you're going to want to find the little heights, the smallest ones that you uh, have in your packet. I just dumped them into the uh, little tray over here. And install those on the high side of the base. The longer brackets, screws here, will be used on the left side. Now, first thing you're going to do is install, well, in mine, again, I have the antenna, which I went ahead and clicked on here. And then you're going to want to install your little extender bracket and also put in your ribbon cable. Use the longer ribbon cable that did not come with the case. So this is the one that came with the case. This is the shorter version. A longer version, two of them, comes with the extender board. So in case you don't know, there's a little flap right here that you lift up. And you put the ribbon cable metal side down into the flap at insert and then clamp it down into place. And you want to go ahead and install this before you screw it down because you will not be able to uh, once you put it all together. So once you have your ribbon cable installed, pre-fold it uh, a little bit up to start prepping it. And you've got everything in place. We'll be able to put our thermal paste down here and install this and then screw it down. Just hand tighten it when you screw it. Okay, once you put your tall mounting screws into place, remember to only hand tighten them. Went ahead and attached the uh, ribbon cable to the M.2 extender board. And I went ahead and inserted the micro SD. So I've got my questions if the lid is gonna the cover is actually going to fit on this. It does have slots here, um, but I'm not sure if it's going to fit with all of those ribbons and stuff. But we'll, we will see. Uh, I'm going to try, so let's see. Okay, well, I just kind of lightly assembled it. I'm amazed. It sticks out, but it will fit, and it does close. So... I guess sticking out is better than nothing, <laughs> but still, it's pretty cool. Let me uh, continue to assemble this. The next steps would be to attach this board and go ahead and screw that down. So let's do that. And we're going to use the really small screws right there to do so. Okay, here we go. I went ahead and installed the M.2. Um, did not use the screws that came with it. There are some screws that came with the kit. There's an extra one right there. And that's what I used to screw down the M.2. Got the cable, everything in place. Looking really good. Decent sized heat sink. Alright, let's put this bad boy together. It's one of the extremely nice things about this thing is it's got the M.2, which will give you the uh, speeds up to probably five to 600 megabytes per uh, writes per second versus a US 3 3.0 SSD, which is probably about 250 uh, writes per second. So for such a little computer, this guy's gonna be really fast and such a powerhouse, especially to run our nodes. And don't forget about the backup battery. So, you know, if there is a bat, uh, outage or something along those lines, it doesn't forget uh, base information. So that's another big plus that uh, was very unique to the Rock Pi. So don't forget to plug that in. And uh, I believe we've got everything here together. All we've got to do is slide the case down, and then we've got to start thinking about modifying the lid so that we'll be able to use our added antenna. Okay, finally got this thing wiggled on. It took a few minutes to get everything quite in place. You have to be very careful uh, not to push down on that uh, micro SD over here when you're working on wiggling it into place. Um, I do like the setup. It's really cool. It is, uh, you know, 
pretty neat for a microcomputer. My concern is that this stuff has to stick out like this. Um, I guess it is what it is. <laughs> kind of hoped it would have been a little better. Um, but uh, maybe it's not really designed too much. Or the M.2 is just the extra uh, additive. So I can deal with that. It's no big deal. So just about got this together. Just have to make the modification to the lid. And then install our antenna. And we'll be ready to fire this guy up, which will be another video. And we'll be doing that all with the solar setup. If you guys have not seen the solar videos, you guys should go check those out. I'll put links down in the description. Also, uh, links will be down in the description about this guy, their website, and where I purchased it. It did take about a month or so to get to me. I We ordered it on uh, Black Friday, kind of an early Christmas gift from my lovely great wife um and uh so i knew it was coming so and merry christmas to everybody or late merry christmas happy new year if depending on the time frame that i actually post the video uh but yeah this is a cool little gadget i'm really excited about being able to run a full-blown computer with some real computing capa uh, capabilities for extremely low wattage um, it is an arm chip i think there's definitely going to be some learning curves here for me Hopefully, I'll get a lot of help out of the communities. And uh, uh, well, stay tuned and let's see what this guy looks like once I drill a hole in this and pop the antenna into place. Okay, that's it. I only used our uh, trusty little drill over here and uh, we lightly drilled the hole very gently right next to the uh, edge. That's all you had to do. Popped in, put the screw on. Just have to unscrew it or slide the cap over every time you want to go in and out of it. No big deal. And we just modified it. So now we have a Rock Pi 4B with an extended Wi-Fi antenna. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Remember to give the video a thumbs up, thumbs down if you didn't like it. There you are. Talk to you later on. See you guys. Bye.